Hi, I'm Marvin Bowden at your chef's table for San Diego. And I'm gonna to do today a baguette. Um, really enjoy, and since the pandemic, that's been my main focus was to get this baguette recipe and actually making better breads and better quality breads at home. So hopefully uh, you enjoy the video and you get to see my passion for this. First, let's go over a safety moment. Today, we're gonna do heat exhaustion and safety. Heat exhaustion is a result from your body's inability to cool down and regulate its internal temperature. It is usually caused by continuous exposure to excess heat that dehydrates the body. Symptoms of heat exhaustion include headache, fatigue, dizziness, fainting spells, nausea, vomiting, weak pulse, pale face, muscle cramps. Um, basically, drink plenty of water before you go out in the sun or where it's really hot. Try to wear a hat to cover as much of the sun and typically long sleeves and long sleeve pants that are kind of airy, but cover you from the heat and from the sun. Okay. Also, one other thing I wanted to go over would be uh, menu prep and how I do how I go about doing menu prep at home. Um, typically with me, our meal prep, uh, I have all my core pantry items, which would be pastas, dry beans, canned beans, canned tomatoes. I usually have brown rice, jasmine rice, lentils, olives, chipotle peppers in a can. So basically I have all my dry items in there. And basically the way I plan it every week is we usually have a pasta a week, something Italian. We'll have one to two salads a week. And this is for a seven day meal plan. We'll do something Mexican, something Chinese. And I'll always usually do one dessert item. And basically I'll just go through and take inventory of everything I have in my freezer my refrigerator and my dry storage, and I'll make my meal plan out of that. You know, um, seems to work the best for me. And whatever items, because I don't like to go to the store that much, I want it one, one shot for all week. So I try to make sure that when I'm writing my meal, my menu for the week, that I'm checking through and making sure I have all the ingredients that I need, and then checking through the recipes that I'm gonna make too to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Okay, hopefully that was helpful for you guys. And let's get to the video. So I have my yeast. Then I have my water. I'm gonna mix those together. And the water is just warmed in the microwave just till I can stick my finger in it. And it's probably around 199 degrees, somewhere right around there. Let that bloom for about five minutes, and then I'll start loading all the rest of the ingredients on there to make the dough. So all the ingredients are in my mixer and I got my dough hook on. Now I'm gonna knead the dough for about 10 minutes. Spray the top of the dough, wrapped it in, put the top over plastic wrap, and then you're just going to set it in a warm place in your kitchen, somewhere around 70, 75 degrees. So I usually put a towel down and then I put a towel over the top, 
and then I'll let it sit for two hours so it can double in size when it rises. So the dough is doubled, and now I'm gonna start cutting it and getting it ready. So I'm gonna roll the dough out on floured surface. Typically, if you had a uh, larger oven, you could cut the dough into threes, then it would fit, but my oven doesn't fit, so I have to cut the dough into four. And right now I'm just scaling it out, just to make sure they're pretty close to even size. So now I take the dough, I'll stretch it out, fold it over, and I'll fold it over again, like so. Then I'll start rolling it out. I'm just looking for even. Okay, it starts sticking too much. We'll just Put a little bit more flour on there. Same thing again. Pull it. Okay, once that done, I have a linen yeah. cloth here. I'm going to place them in here and I'm going to get them, put the seam side down. And I'm going to try to make them as close to the size. the sheet pan is.
Now we're going to take this and plastic wrap it and we'll let it sit for about 30 minutes to rise again. So in the meantime, I have these three towel setups here and I'm going to fill this with boiling water and that'll help on the steaming process. And in one hour before I start, before I put the bread in the oven, I'll turn the oven on to 500 degrees. Okay, so it's sat 30 minutes. So I'm going to take it out of the plastic wrap. And I'm going to transfer it over onto another sheet pan and basically just roll it on there like so. Maybe it's going around everybody because they're home so much. Oh. Yeah, so doing different water or, or uh, different air. You can actually pick it up just like so too. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's a little harder. There we go, that worked out pretty good. Okay. I'm going to dust a little flour over the top before I cut them and before they go in the oven. There we go. Got my blade here. Before I do that, I need a regular water glass. And I'm going to fill it three quarters of the way with ice. My oven's at 500. And I'm going to go ahead and score them. Okay, then they're going to go in the oven. I put the towels in there. I'm going to stick that in there real quick. I'm going to throw the ice on the thing and I'm going to steam it for 11 minutes. So as soon as the, the baguettes go in the oven, we're going to turn it down to 480. Okay, now I'm releasing the steam from the oven. Take the bread off of here, put it straight on the stone. Then I'm going to take these steam towels out. And then I'll bake it for another 10 more minutes. So a timer just went off, that's 10 more minutes. And then now we're going to shut the oven off. We're going to open the door. And we're going to let it sit in there for 10 more minutes and dry out. Or five more minutes and dry out, sorry. So they just came out of the oven. Nice and hard. Way to test bread is. Hit it in the bottom. Sounds hollow. It's done. Okay. These two stuck together, but it's not that big of a deal for me. 
look pretty good. Hope you guys make this at home and enjoy. Hope you guys all enjoyed that. If you have any questions or anything you'd like, can you please put it in the chat box? I'd love to answer them. Well, I don't see any questions. So thank you very much for watching the video and hope you uh, make this recipe at home because the more you do it, the easier it gets. Thank you.